Hi, welcome to using your manifold. Each manifold is equipped with a three station valve, three way valve, in the vertical position. It's in the open to vacuum position. In the diagonal position, it's closed. And in the horizontal position, it's open to atmosphere. This is important if you want to release the vacuum pressure on one station without affecting the others. Maintaining your manifold. It's very important at the end of the day, if you've used acid, to rinse out the acid by pouring some water through each station. The valves are made out of nickel coated brass and they will corrode over time causing leakage. Each stopcock is unique to each valve assembly, so please don't mix and match. When using glassware, remove your glassware at the end of each day where it may become stuck. If it does become stuck, gently tap it with a soft wooden mallet or something similar. Another option is to unscrew each station, place it in the freezer, and then the glassware will come loose. Or you can place it in a dry ice bath and let it come loose in the dry ice bath. Never use heat as that can cause breakage. Hi, welcome to oil and grease extraction. First thing we're going to do Put our cartridge adapters on each station of the manifold. Now we're going to add the cartridges. If you have a really nasty sample, the best pre-filter is a plug of glass wool. Just put it all the way in like this. We need to rinse with some hexane just to make sure there's no fingerprints or anything that can give us a false positive. About 10 milliliters will do. We'll just rinse them around. Then we're going to turn on the vacuum briefly just to pull some through and then let it soak. Now we'll release vacuum pressure and pull these out and set them aside. Now we need to run vacuum for a few more minutes just to get rid of the rest of the hexane. Now we've evaporated all the hexane away, it's time to activate the cartridge. We're going to add some methanol, oh, around 10 milliliters will do, to each cartridge. This activates the C18. Again we're going to pull some of that through with vacuum and then we're going to let it soak for about two minutes. We've allowed our methanol to sit for a couple of minutes to activate the C18. Now we're going to add some deionized water because we need to get rid of the methanol. So we'll just pour some of that in. Turn on our vacuum and pull that to waste. Some people believe that the meniscus needs to sit on top of the fret, but that's really not the case. As long as the sorbent is still wet, and it is, it'll work just fine. We've got some really nasty samples with oil and grease here, and they just flip right on top like this. We're going to turn our vacuum on and adjust it first so that it's not too fast. We don't want this to go through any faster than 500 milliliters per minute.
I need to increase some vacuum to help get this one nasty sample through. So I'm going to adjust my vacuum to increase the vacuum pressure. You can also adjust the vacuum pressure by moving the stopcock slightly. Now that all the sample has passed through, we need to pull full vacuum for 10 minutes to get all the water out. During this period, you can tap the cartridges to dislodge any water droplets. Well, we've allowed 10 minutes to pass so that the cartridges are now dry. As you can see, a lot of the oil and grease is still stuck to the glass, so we need to get that off. First thing we're going to do is measure out 10 milliliters of hexane as soon as we put in our receiving flasks to catch our eluent. So let's measure out 10 milliliters of hexane approximately. We just don't want to overflow our flask inside the uh, manifold. Put that in there. And let's swirl that around. and then we'll put this on top to soak. While that's soaking, let's repeat the process with 10 more milliliters.
Now that these have had a chance to soak, let's gently pull them through with some vacuum. Okay, now we're going to add our third aliquot. Let's release the vacuum. And here we are. There's our oil and grease. And we'll just let that soak in for about a minute. At this point, these glass bottles have had all the oil and grease removed and what's left behind is just uh, some dirt. Now let's go ahead and pull this through and collect. And let's add our fourth and final aliquot. And with this, we're going to rinse out the bottle holders. We'll let that soak for a couple of minutes and then we're finished. Let's release the vacuum. And here we are. There's our oil and grease. If you have a peanut butter jar, the type with the 100 millimeter lid, you'll need to use our bottle holder that is threaded for this type of jar. All you have to do is just screw this on, take your conditioned cartridge, place it on top, flip it over, and turn on your vacuum. If you have any questions, please contact UCT Technical Support.